I got here backwards. I went to India in 1996 and I experienced the state of consciousness that the yogis call unity consciousness. It lasted for about three months and I wanted to find out what I had experienced if somebody could explain it to me. And the only people who were able to understand that experience as far as I had gone in my exploration were the yogis. So. I began to study yogic knowledge, which is really Vedic knowledge, for about 13 years, quite intensively, in a sort of all-consuming way. Um, I, I experienced um, sort of ashramic life um, and the kind of guru-style lineage, uh, providing selfless service, devoting myself to the knowledge. And as well, I was integrating the knowledge into daily life. So instead of experiencing it in a solitary, monk-like um, tradition, I was experiencing it as a householder. So a tradition in which I am still in the world, I was still working, I was still um, relating to my family and friends. So it was a unique, experience. For me, lineage is there to try to maintain the purity of the knowledge. When you have a subjective science like yoga, it's easy for people's personal way of thinking about it, perspective, depending on where they are in their evolution and in their consciousness. Knowledge is different in different states of consciousness. So lineage is there to maintain that level of consciousness from which the knowledge is, is most subtle, is most effective. The lineage I'm most connected to is Maharishi Mahesh Yogi's lineage, the Shankaracharya lineage. His teacher was Guru Dev Brahmananda Saraswati. Everything that I do has its foundation in that lineage base and in that understanding. What I found is that all other lineages that I have studied sit holistically within that lineage. That lineage I found contained a wholeness in which many, many other spiritual paths can sit comfortably. How does yoga shape Vancouver? I think that yoga shapes Vancouver and Vancouver shapes yoga. I think the environment of Vancouver with mountains and ocean lends itself very well and complements a nature-based practice like yoga. Yoga is an indigenous form of knowledge. And so when you're connected with nature, when you're attuned with nature, you, you are in that space of alignment. You are in that place of yoga. I always found it difficult when people ask me about my yoga practice because it's a living experience. It's not something that I separate from the rest of my day. If I was to talk to you about my yoga practice, it changes and it has changed over time. For the first long period of my life, with my connection to yoga, that was an experience of samadhi. <laughs> And much of that was sitting in silence, appreciating nature, noticing the discernments in my mind. My yoga practice is ongoing every day. It's a practice of awareness. It's doing the dishes and loving that. It's how I treat others. It's how I handle my challenges and difficulties 
or when I feel some injustice has been done to me, trying to understand where that other person is coming from. And that has led me down many paths into a psychotherapy certificate, into Masters of Education. Thank you for listening.